Hello guys, I thought I'd show you my Retro PI and emulators in action using the RetroPie project and emulation station. My, my PI is a Raspberry Pi 2, it's down there as you can see on my messy um, desk there. Um, so I've got it hooked up to my um, my 22 inch HDMI TV. So if we plug the PI in. And the PI will boot up. As you can see at the top, we've got four PI, four raspberries. That means it's a um, a PI two quad core. Bear in mind, this is only thirty pounds, so not too much money for this system. I've got an eight gig. Was it sixty? I think I've got a sixteen gigabyte SD card in there, and here it is. It's loading up for RetroPie. As you can see, the stigs here, um, because I'm missing Top Gear. We all know what's been going on, Jamie Cox and all that. So, yes. So anyway, the emulation station is booting up as you can see. So it takes a few seconds to load up, as you can see. And we are presented in a second with the. Software when it finally comes on, it does take a few seconds, a minute or two. And as you can see, then we've got a choice of our systems that we want to emulate with this nice front end. So we've got IBM, Apple II, Main, Scum VM, Amiga, MSX, Nintendo 64, Nintendo Entertainment System, Master System, Genesis, Super Nintendo, and of course the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Now, there is a lot more emulators on it than this. It, it, the only emulators that appear are the ones that you've got ROMs in for. So there's also Commodore 64 and a lot more Atari ST, etc. So, but because I've only got ROMs in the particular folders of these particular systems, and these are the only ones that have appeared. So, if say for example, if I was to add some C64 ROMs in, um, a co the Commodore 64 would appear on this choice. Anyway, so let's have a look at some of the emulators, shall we? Well, a couple of them anyway. So, you can get MAME on here, and pretty much perfect for out one, as you can see. Out one. I basically got coin machine in your living room for this tiny Raspberry Pi device. Impressive stuff. drag the ROMs off to the PI device, it's just very easy if you've got a network cable plugged in, if you've got the PI plugged into your home network, otherwise you can just copy them onto the SD card, use an SD reader on your PC. So as you can see that's everyone working on my PI. I recommend if you're going to buy one to get the PI too, as it's like I said, it's got one gigabyte of RAM and it's quad core. You can, also, of course, do other stuff on here, like watch movies and using the XMBC and things like that. So yeah, so that's um, a bit of a one. So if we exit out of that, it takes a few seconds to exit. So we we go back to the um, previous screen there. to that in a minute. Have a look at the others. So can choose one. Oh I want to sorry about that. So we can have a look at the Super Nintendo.
So, yeah, you can just choose your emulation and go for it. As you can see. So we've got our type on the Super Nintendo. Ouch. Basically a retro heaven. So yeah, as you can see, it's a great little device, 30 quid, you can't go wrong. Put loads of emulators on there. Sorry, put loads of games on there when you've got a multi-system for your living room TV or whatever. Start up the Spectrum, let's have a look at the Spectrum emulator. So yeah, as you can see it was start up in, it started up in um, a plus 2A machine. If you press F1 you can change the um, machine. You can see we've got a big choice. We can have the rack if I want to. We reboot into the Talus rack. As you can see we've got the tape tester down there, 1986 at the bottom, Sinclair Research. Let's have a look. Um, just point it in the right direction of where the ROMs are stored, which in my case it's in retro pie and ROMs. But uh, actually that's uh, that's the default on the um, retro pie project. So as you can see, we got some ROMs in here and um, so if we um, try one of these games uh, we can um, as you can see there we go and yeah so perfectly working spectrum emulator so choose our Sinclair joystick Game. You can actually hide this mouse. Just, just put it in the bottom right or the bottom left. There's probably other ways of hiding it, but yeah, so. so as you can see, perfect working spectrum there right there. Change the game just by pressing F1. Ouch! And what else we got on here? Ah, oh, this is a Crash Special Edition demo. Treasure Island Dizzy. Where you start up in, in the trees rather than... Rather than the beach. So yeah, perfectly um, working. Try one more, shall we? What else we got on here? Let's have a look. I was loading it in one to eight or something, I don't know. Let's try it. 
try one more, I don't know if that one didn't work. Conversion on spectrum. Ouch. As you see, I'm not very good at the moment on these games. I'll do a more in depth look at the PI on a later video, but this is just a quick video using my webcam that I decided to do before work, so I'll see you soon. Goodbye.